welcome to the Proper Pineapple Podcast, a crochet and knitting podcast. <laughs> I have no idea at this very moment what number podcast this is, but it is written down in the title of this, so you know. <laughs> you guys, things have been crazy. But okay, let's get all the formalities over. So I am Holly. Hi. If you are looking for me anywhere else on the internet, you can find me at The Proper Pineapple on Facebook at The Proper Pineapple, Instagram The Proper Pineapple. I have a website, thepropapineapple.com, where you can buy all my patterns and other stuff I sell. Um, you can also email me if you want to get a hold of me at thepropapineapple at gmail.com. I'm sorry if it is noisy. It is a beautiful day here in Texas, and I decided to do my podcast outside because why go inside when it's so pretty out, right? So pretty. Um, all of our family back home in Michigan. Wait, quick rabbit trail. I'm from Michigan, <laughs> but we are down here in Texas, kind of on an extended little vacay. Uh, so all of our family back in Michigan are experiencing cold weather and even some snow to my best friend Al up north. But down here, I had to find a shady spot to sit. It's so sunny, you guys, it's crazy. I am wearing a long sleeve for like only the second time this year. It's crazy, but... <laughs> It's a beautiful day down here. So if you hear birds and bugs and people moving around, it's just cause I'm outside. That was a quick rabbit trail, you guys. So um, if you are new, welcome. This is a crochet and knitting podcast, mostly. Usually we just randomly talk about random stuff because I'm a random person. <laughs> but I do try to talk about crochet and knitting. Um, and then if you are a returning pineapple person, Thank you for coming back. You guys know I love you guys. I have not been putting out videos regularly and I'm super sad about that because, well, I just got in a funk. Everybody did. 2020 has been the year of the funk. <laughs> not in a good way either. Just like everybody's feeling it. It's so, but I'm going to try to do better now, guys. I promise. Um, so I'm going to show you my projects. I've only been working on two things, so that'll be quick and easy. And then I have some, uh, another unfortunate event that has happened to me and then I have a shop update I want to talk to you guys about and then also some channel news so we'll just do it in that order okay all right projects so the one I've been working on the most which I should have been working on the other one more but this one worked for me it is a cowl a knitted cowl I'm keeping it in this little mesh bag from um Jimmy Beans Wool. It's what it used to be their Namaste bags, but I believe they changed the name of that. I don't know. Anyways, so I am using this amazing yarn that my best friend gave me called Mint Rain Hand Dyed Yarns. She bought it for me like two years ago, you guys. <laughs> it's called Witch's Brew. There's all the info if you want it. Okay. And I, when I, when I had the skein, it was so beautiful. I love it. You'll see it's my colors. Well, some of my colors. All the colors are my colors. Anyways. Um, but I had no idea what I was going to do with it. Sorry. There is a very loud truck driving by over there. It's okay. He's gone now. No, he's not. But he's on his way gone. Um, let me show you the ball. I don't have much left. But see, you guys? It's like purple and lime green with some gray. And then that in black. And it all fades to like different shades of that, right? I had no idea what to do with it. And so it sat in my stash because I loved it, but I didn't know what to do with it. And then I decided I wanna make some cowls. I love cowls. They're like shawls, but you don't have to adjust them. They're just cowls. So I found a cowl pattern called, I'll put it down here. I think it comes, whatever. It's on the bottom of the screen, you guys, you see it. It's called Froth the <laughs> Milk. <laughs> Can never say that right. But it's a beautiful knitted cowl. I am using the, the recommended needle size for that pattern, but here it is. It's getting big. So it's got a rolled hem on the bottom, a little rolled hem there. And actually, I'm going to pause for a second because our neighbor is leaving and it's going to be loud. Okay, sorry about that. Again, we are in our camper in Texas, so our neighbor was leaving to go do something and he has a very big diesel truck, so it was going to be quite loud since I'm sitting right out here in the middle of the yard. <laughs> All right, anyways, here it is, the froth milk. It looks a little funky right now because it has not been blocked. Hold on. I like to stick my needles into my yarn ball 
so that they don't come undone. I don't have any needle stoppers. I know I need a needle stopper. But so it's basically a repeat where you do some yarn over holes every so often. You let it have, it has a rolled hem on the thing and then the, I sound like I don't know what I'm talking about. On the thing, <laughs> rolled hem on the bottom and it have a rolled hem on the top too. Of course, another neighbor's being loud with their truck. It's okay. We can handle a little noise here on the proper pineapple. But it's so beautiful, you guys. This lime green is showing up fluorescent out here in the daylight. I don't know if the screen is picking it up, but I adore this. I cannot wait to get this finished. So I have that much done. I'm actually not following the pattern exactly. She tells you roughly, I believe, how many rows to go or how many grams to use. I want to use the whole ball. So I'm just going to keep going till I run out is what I'm going to do. Because I just, why would I waste it? It's so pretty. But I don't know. Because by the time, okay, so I'm filming this video on the 30th. Tomorrow is the 31st. And I kind of want to wear this to our church's harvest fest. Maybe I'll just hurry up and finish it and wear it tomorrow. Maybe. I'll let you guys know. There'll be a finished object video when it's done. The only other thing I have been working on is another cowl. This one's crocheted and this one I'm designing. And this is in a me-made bag, so I made this bag. Oh gosh, I love the lining of this, you guys. It's like a blue denim with gold glitter. It's so pretty. Anyways, I made this bag for fall last year. Love it. All right. So the yarn is by Cornbread and Honey. I'll put her card up here. I love it. Cornbread and Honey. I do follow her on Instagram. So if you need to find her, you can find her there on Instagram through my page. So, oh, something fell on the ground. Sorry. This color, it's two colors. It's a two color cowl. It will only use about half a skein of yarn, 50 grams of each. So you'll have enough to do another project. So this color is embers, which I love. Isn't that beautiful? It's so pretty. Do you like the face I make when I'm staring at the yarn as I turn it? I'm like all intense and <laughs> if you didn't notice it, go back. Look at my crazy intense face. And this one is called um, Autumn Fire. There was my intense face again. I furl my eyebrow all intensely. Like, just... There's a truck behind you. There's a truck gonna go behind me, guys. See, now that's over on the property. Or that's our neighbor too. I have no control over traffic, you guys. I'm sorry, but they're not that loud. So we'll just let it go. Everybody's way by. <laughs> all right, so Autumn Fire, so, so pretty. And this is a faded cowl. Okay, so here is the cowl. Isn't this pretty? Oh my gosh, you guys so pretty uh so i've already got it all figured out i'm just finishing making the sample piece here so you start and now this is very narrow because i like my cowls really really tight but this pattern will be super easy to adjust if you like a looser one isn't that pretty so this was that first color autumn fire and then it had faded down into this beautiful ember color we are calling this the emberly cowl it has a detail on the front and the back of kind of a side slope line that gives a little point that'll go kind of crooked. It's so pretty, you guys. I cannot wait to have this finished. So, so pretty. And it's done in fingering weight yarn with a five millimeter hook. Look at that yarn, you guys. So pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. Maybe I should finish this one and wear this to the fall festival. I'm looking at Mr. Pineapple. Somebody's using a chainsaw because they don't respect YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. It's my fault. I'm being all... Um, I don't have my hook, but I'm using my five millimeter hook from uh, Nelson Woods. Beautiful hook. But I don't have it because I kind of like hastily grabbed stuff and brought it outside because it's hot in the house and I don't want to be in there. Okay, and the next thing, I'm getting it, I want to show you is a unfortunate event that has happened in my life. And I'm looking at Mr. Pineapple. And he knows what he's laughing because he knows what's coming. Okay, guys. So, quick backstory on this unfortunate event. Mr. Pineapple wants a big dog. And I like big dogs too. But at the moment, we're living in our camper. And we weren't sure if that would be a good idea or not. Well, we found this one adorable dog. And she was a sweetheart. And she was a very nice dog. <laughs> we decided to give her... A, a trial run right and see if it worked out well we tried and it didn't work out <laughs> and one of the main factors 
would be what she did to a project bag of mine. <laughs> so this project bag did not have a project in it. I had bought this, I showed it on a, I think a live. I bought it from um, Iron Wheel Farms. Um, her mother-in-law makes these bags. They're called Healing Hands Bags. Anyways, this is a gorgeous bag. I, I can't even show it to you without showing how horrible. It's a huge bag and it had a clear front and a beautiful handle and I loved it so much. I had it put away and I finally, I dug it out of my closet because it's like, what's the point of having this amazing bag if I don't use it, right? So I was like, I'm gonna use this bag. I'm tired of not using it. So I dug it out and it was in my room. Well, somebody forgot to shut the door to our room when we left one day. That chainsaw is super annoying. I'm sorry guys, I'm almost done though. <laughs> and Penny, Penny was her name. She ate my bag, you guys. So there's the handle and there's where it used to be attached. We'll start there. She ate that, right? No big deal. We can fix that. That's just a little fringe. Okay, so then she ate a massive hole in the plastic here. <laughs> she ate a massive hole in the plastic here. And then this one actually goes all the way through the bag. So <laughs> this is a beautiful project bag. Look at how pretty this is, you guys. Absolutely pretty. Oh my gosh, it's a stunning bag. I was going to start carrying this and she ruined it. It's, I can't throw it away though because I love it so much. <laughs> I'm going to have to throw it away. It's ruined. Anyways, don't worry. Penny is in a great home now. She just didn't fit into this home. <laughs> that, wasn't the only that wasn't the only reason we didn't keep her. She really was too big for our camper. It just wasn't working out. She needed room to run and play. But I'm bitter about the bag, so I say it's the bag's fault. <laughs> um, okay, so that's all my projects and stuff, you guys. I know it was short. Hopefully, I'll have some more stuff done the next time. Okay, quickly, some channel news. Um, I'm going to try to put out some more videos. I'm going to go back to doing some shopping videos because I miss doing those. Do you guys miss the shopping videos? I miss the shopping videos. So, those are coming back. Do you guys miss? I'm going to ask a question you guys can comment below. Do you guys want me to do more of the five crafty questions where I ask people five crafty questions and make a little video about it? If you guys want me to do more of those, let me know. Comment down below and I will work that out. Um, and then also, I'm starting to gear up and get ready for my Christmas giveaway. You guys know I've done uh, 24 days of Christmas or the 12 days of Christmas. It just depends on what I get and what I can do. So I'm gearing up for that. So if you are a maker, of yarn or handbags or stitch markers or crochet hooks or anything like that and you would like to donate to the giveaway or patterns patterns would also be greatly appreciated because those can be done digitally that's easy peasy lemon squeezy uh just get a hold of me you can email me uh or instagram would be the best way to get a hold of me so that is the shop news now i want to share with you this shop update i'm super excited because i came across a killer deal you guys and I have, for a limited time, I'm going to be offering some pom-poms in my store. <laughs> I love a good pom-pom. And these pom-poms are pretty awesome. Okay? So, I have, I believe, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight colors. Eight colors. I had a book somewhere that had all the names of my colors. Whatever, I remember them. It's fine. So, I'm going to show them to you guys. And then these are for sale right now over on thepropperpineapple.com, which is linked down below in the description box. So this first one is what I call Arctic Fox. It's this beautiful white with little black tips. So pretty, you guys. I love this one. So that's one. This one I love too. It, it, I like to shake them really good. I call this one Black Bear. It's just a beautiful black pom-pom. I mean... That looks great on a hat. Oh, I love this one. Then we have, okay. I love this one. This one is Silver Fox. It's so pretty. It's like a beautiful silvery, almost, it's coming a little lavendery, but not really. And every once in a while has little flakes of black on it. So pretty. Love that one. Uh, this one we're calling Camel because 
That's what color it is. It's like a camel color. The truck's coming back, you guys. I hear it. Oh, no, that's just people turning around. Anyways, this is a beautiful camel with like little black or dark brown. Is that dark brown? Yeah, it's like dark brown flecks on it. So pretty. It's a lovely camel color. This one I'm calling brown bear. It is literally just brown. I'm not a huge brown person, but I do love this pom-pom. It's so pretty. So brown. This one, what did we say we were naming this one? We said it as we walked up. Oh yeah, sloth. We're calling this one sloth. It's like a, it's a brown that definitely leans a little toward mauve colors with a little dark tint. And it's really pretty. These pom-poms are so soft, you guys. They're three inch pom-poms. Okay, and these last two are my two favorites. This one is one of my favorites. We're calling this one hyena. It kind of almost looks leopardy or like a hyena pattern, if you've ever seen a hyena. So pretty. And then this last one, I adore too. And hopefully you'll be able to pick it up. I don't know why this car is driving back there. <laughs> they don't live here. They're just driving by the looks. They ended up on YouTube. <laughs> Anyways, this one we're calling Yeti. And it is gray with black tips. And I don't know if you can see, but down in here, it's kind of purpley. It's so pretty. So we're calling this one Yeti. So, so pretty. So all of these pom-poms, let me see if I can hold the majority of these pom-poms. I don't think I can, you guys. Turns out eight pom-poms is too many pom-poms. <laughs> all these beautiful, I lost black bear. All these pom-poms are available on my website. So if you wanna head over there to get them, like I said, I was able to come in, get a small quantity of them. So for right now, it's a limited time only. Um, maybe I'll be able to get some more in the future. I'm not sure, but let's see how well these go. So if you're interested in pom-poms, which make great hat toppers, um, my daughter actually likes when I put her hair in ponytails, I'll put two, I'll do piggy tails and I'll put one in each of them. She loves that. So they're great for lots of things. Or somebody told me you could, they look like some sort of Star Wars character and they were going to glue eyes and stuff on them. I don't know. I don't watch Star Wars, you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a nerd, but I'm not that nerdy. <laughs> Anyways, I'm kidding. Kidding. It. Don't be offended, guys. I was just joking. I love Star Wars. I just don't watch it. Anyways, I think that's about it. Is there anything else I forgot, Mr. Pineapple? Thank you. Nope. So, pom-poms in the store. Check those out. I should have this, we're calling this the Emberly Cowl. That should be available like the first week in November. And stay tuned for our December big Christmas giveaway we always do. And I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you guys later.